My name is Richard Farrow. Um, I run A&B Contractors. We do agriculture contracting throughout North Devon, doing a wide range of services, including muck spreading, and we use Teagle rear discharge spreaders. Back in 2018, we were looking to change our rear discharge spreaders, and we were running a different brand. Um, I was approached by Smallridge Brothers, or I approached Smallridge Brothers. I didn't think Teagle was up to the job, personally, when we started, but having run them now for five years, um, we're really pleased with them. Uh, build quality is good, backup's really good from Smallridge Brothers and from Teagle, and they do a really good job, been very reliable, and can't praise them enough, really. When, when it comes to buying the spreaders, the main considerations was price is always a big consideration. They were cheaper than a lot of other manufacturers. Backup, primary, one of my big things. No point spending all this money on a spreader and then it's parked in the yard and you can't use it because you can't get the bits. Build quality, it needs to be well built. We obviously are contractors, we spread all sorts of muck and it needed to be able to do all of those with being reliable and having the quality to be able to stick the job. The, when we had the other makes of spreader years ago, we had a lot of trouble with the bed chains. Um, they were always breaking, they weren't strong enough. Um, touch wood with the Teagle chains, I think we've only ever broke one um, in the five years we've had them and they do seem a lot stronger. Um, they do wear out because everything wears out but the, when the working lifespan of the chain is a lot longer and we don't get the breakages that we did with the old spreaders. On the bottom of the um, rotors on the back there's uh, swinging flails that uh, can break back and that's good with foreign objects, stops damage to the spreader. With being contractors, we tend to find stones and wheelbarrows and all sorts of things in the muck. And um, basically, you want something that's robust enough to be able to stick that. And the Teagle seem to do it, not a problem. We, we chose the Titan 10 mainly because of the size. We wanted something not too big. We put the greedy boards on so it does hold more than what the standard one would. Um, the length of it is quite handy to get around yards. We've got a lot of mixed farms, from dairy farms to arable farms to beef and sheep farms. Some of them have got small yards um, and small gateways and we needed to be able to get around easy. And these are perfect size for what we're doing. And we've got three of them. If we've got a big job, we can put three of them on it. If it's only like today, we've got two running with the farmers loading the dung itself. Um, and it works ideal. When we, when we had our first Teagle spreader, we uh, had a different axle put on because um, we wanted uh, air brakes and bigger brakes on it because we do a lot of road work. Makes it safe on the road, so it's a must for us really. The, the latest spreader we had has got the bigger brakes on now and it seems to be on their standard now, so they obviously took note of what we said in the past and they've put it on as a standard feature. If anybody came and asked me what much spreaders we used and would I recommend them to other people, yes, I think they're a very good product. And I would recommend them to any of my colleagues that I've worked with and will work with, you know, in the past. And farmers, um, we've got a few farmers now have bought them on the back of us using them. So, you know, they obviously take note of what we, we do with them. As like I said earlier, if it sticks us, I'm sure it'll stick a farmer, no problem at all, and other contractors.